I really wish I could say that I gave my all on the field, but it's very hard to sit there and concentrate on a game for a couple of hours when you're wondering how you're going to eat for a week, how you're going to pay your bills, how are you going to justify that you have no money. Epic's sports betting consultancy program is really designed to create multiple touch points around a sports organization. And that really feeds into three main things. It feeds into protecting that organization's people. It feeds into protecting that organization's performance. And it feeds into protecting that organization's reputation. And all of them three things are fundamental to the financial success of a sports brand. Well, there's still a lot of stigma and shame attached to gambling addiction, and that is what we have to try and work towards getting rid of that stigma. You know, destigmatize the whole thing so that people feel that if they have a problem, they can come out, they can ask for help. You know, educate the people at the clubs, your player care teams, your managers, your execs, that they can maybe recognize the signs of, you know, if there's gambling harm, there's gambling addiction at the club, and they can, you know, try and help that player, help that employee through it. On the outside, I was doing everything and perceived everything to be great. I was second in voting of um, all freshman honors in our, in our conference. I was a freshman all-conference team member. I was the number one starting pitcher as a redshirt freshman, sophomore, and junior all the way through. I had a 3.0 GPA in school. I was friends with everybody. I had a girlfriend, I had a thriving relationship that was doing well. By all accounts, on the outside of what I wanted you to see, I was being very successful in college. But on the inside, I was harboring a, a struggling addiction. Everybody talks about having you know, a positive culture and how a manager coming in or a player, whatever it might be, can make such a difference to that culture. You know, On the flip side of that, if somebody comes in or somebody's there and they've got an issue and that starts to eat away at that culture, it can become toxic really, really quickly. For every one person out there that has a gambling addiction, they say it affects 10 others. You know, when you, you bring into the, the backroom staff, the office staff, executive level, the fans as well, because fans notice, fans start to, you know, they start shouting abuse, etc. all these players. So, you know, in terms of it can turn, a good culture can turn toxic really, really quickly if you don't deal with these, these issues and know how to deal with them. From really the moment that I set foot on campus, um, I started getting introduced to gambling and that was really a part of our clubhouse culture. The seniors were doing it, the guys that were more senior. And for me to fit in, that's what I felt like I needed to do. Education is key when it comes to, you know, understanding gambling harm and the effect that it can have on your team, on your club, you know, on your individual players. The sports consultancy services that we provide enable sporting organizations to take a 360 view at what gambling harm can look like. Can also obviously have a significant impact in terms of fan engagement and the sentiment of the fan base. And if their engagement with the gambling industry or something that's occurred because of their relationship with gambling causes negative sentiment within that fan base, then that provides challenges in terms of increasing revenue and, and monetizing that fan base for an organization. And then ultimately brand and reputation is, is what the organization is known for. And if there is an integrity breach or if there is an issue with a player who has an issue with gambling or if there's an issue with a member of staff or with their relationship with the industry, then that's always going to have a negative impact on their brand and their reputation. But what we want to do is we want to make an impact across that entire organisation. So we speak to different populations within a sports organisation. So that includes the executives, it includes the owners and the boards. It includes the partnerships managers, people working in marketing, in communications, and even the individuals working around the uh, training ground and around the stadium, because these people are exposed to gambling, gambling messages and gambling products just as much as the on-field playing staff. So it's really, really important to the culture of the organisation and the impact that we aim to make for a sports organisation that we speak to everyone and not just the players. Problem gambling, gambling harm doesn't discriminate, whether that's gender, race, age, and the statement uh, pertains just as relative to geography. Shortly after the repeal of PASPA, we recognized that the gambling industry was gonna grow at a significant rate in the US. And we identified that there was gonna be a need for organizations like Epic focused on preventing and minimizing gambling related harm to take that work to the US and to support the US in the sustainable growth of their industry. Epic learns from lived experience to reduce gambling harm 
And we do that by a number of different ways, but it starts from understanding what gambling harm looks like through the eyes of somebody and a team of people that have experienced it. We then share their stories uh, to inform everybody around what harm looks like. We utilize tools such as a gambling harm spectrum to enable everybody that we deal with to reflect on their own relationship with gambling and to allow organizations to reflect on how they are engaging with gambling in general. Over the course of a few years, my appetite for gambling just grew and grew and grew. Again, going from the $10 and now I'm gambling with guys with money and instantly almost overnight and, and through a course of a year, I went from gambling 10 to $20 games to 500 to thousand dollars a hand. So I think gambling harm awareness culture stems from knowing what harm looks like, how to avoid it, and then how to take positive and preventative action. Utilizing our experience that we've got over the course of 10 years, working globally across sports from all around the world, from gambling industry providers from all around the world. All of that knowledge is there to support the sporting organizations that we work with so they can continue to make sure that gambling harm awareness and prevention of gambling harm is embedded in their culture so they can make positive and proactive decisions.